Hi, this is Mike L. We're at the Great Lakes Comic Con, and we're here with DC and Marvel legend Tony Isabella. Tony, for people that don't know anything about you, why don't you tell everyone, you know, what you're most famous for? Well, I've been in the comics industry for 45 years, starting at Marvel, working with Stan Lee, then going on to other companies. I'm best known as the creator of Black Lightning and Misty Knight, and for staying alive in this business this long. <laughs> The business has changed, right? Since you started, what would you say is the biggest change that you can see? You know, in the past few years, I've seen the major companies like Marvel and DC make a very sincere effort to treat creators better. If you see the Marvel movies and the TV shows and the DC movies, they're giving credits at the end to creators of these characters and treating us more fairly. It's not perfect but it, it's a big step forward from when I started in the business. And the thing is, I think a lot of times people don't realize that it takes men and women to sit down, think of these characters, write these stories, draw these stories, right? It takes a lot of work. How did you come up with the concept for Black Lightning? Well, uh, I came up with Black Lightning because DC had hired me from Marvel, and, and they knew that I had written many black characters at Marvel, so they wanted me to do one for DC. They had an existing character that they had bought two scripts for uh, called the Black Bomber. And, and I can't give you the whole Black Bomber story, although you can find it in the introduction to the Black Lightning collection that just came out. But basically, he was a white racist who turned into a black man. It was a really offensive couple of scripts, and they wanted me to punch them up and then take over the series and I refused. I told him, no, you can't do this. It's offensive. People will come to the offices with torches. I'll be one of them. <laughs> and basically, we decided I should create my own black character. And with Black Lightning, I was looking for a very positive character, a role model, someone who everyone could relate to, which is why he's a school teacher, because everybody's had school teachers. Set in the inner city, because that was where the stories I wanted to tell were. And although the character was never a big commercial success, it was popular, the character stayed around the DC Universe, and he's becoming more popular. And recently, the CW gave a pilot commitment to DC Comics to do a Black Lightning pilot. And the pilot's gonna be filmed later this year, and it looks like I'll be on the set when they film the pilot. I'm not sure what I'll be doing there. They may just pat me on the head for good luck, but you know, my, my, my comic book son is gonna be brought to life and I'm gonna be there. That's amazing. You know, another character you worked on that I was a really big fan of was Hawkman in the 80s. What did you think about the Hawk World series that came later and all that stuff, the changes they made? Did not like it at all. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was offensive, not in a, it, basically, I thought that it was changes for the sake of making something darker and grittier, and I don't at all consider Hawkworld to be a valid interpretation of Hawkman. But I wouldn't be surprised if the people who did Hawkworld feel the same way about my stuff. Okay, and you know, you talked about the changes in the industry. What do you feel about the, the content of today's comics? Do you think you see a lot of changes there as well? Oh, this is the golden age of comic books. You can read great comic books and graphic novels from all over the world by all kinds of creators, male, female, gay, straight, every race, and they're reprinting great old comics and not so great comics that are still fun to read. There's more great comic stuff out there than ever before, and going beyond the actual published works, you've got three or four comic book movies a year, you've got almost a dozen hours of comic book TV every week. It's a great time to be a comics fan and to be a comics creator. One final question. If people watch this video, are they allowed to comment on it or is this thread locked? <laughs> no, they can comment on it, but understand, I don't read the comments. <laughs> so if you just want to be snarky to me, you're just doing it for yourselves because I won't see them. <laughs> Hello, this is, it's the Great Lakes Comic Con, right? Right. Okay.